If you keep track of your menstrual cycle with an app, that information may be more vulnerable than you think. There's a bill making progress through the legislature that could change that. Our Emily Bloom explains how a new bill could protect private health data. This bill aims to keep your private information private. House Bill 1155 comes in response to the Dobbs decision that overturned Roe v. Wade. This would give people protection over their personal health data, menstrual apps, and otherwise. There's a lot of things that are in, spo in response to privacy with all the apps we use. I mean, and we need to make sure that we have control of that over that data. As states pass laws in accordance with the Dobbs decision, the privacy comes into question in places where there are more restrictive state laws, like Idaho. Data is one of the most vulnerable areas. So that can be uh, period tracking apps, that can be mm -hmm. social media, that can be, uh, you know, Google Maps and or, um, you know, find your phone locators. Last year in Nebraska, a patient's Facebook messages were turned over to a prosecutor. A lot of patients right now are, you know, confused. They're scared by all these different laws. I spoke with quite a few women today and most didn't know that their health data wasn't already protected. We need to be better informed overall of what is being used for different purposes. Dylan says this is most critical for those patients who are traveling to get the care they need. These are scary times and this sends a very loud and clear message that uh, care will be protected in Washington state. Last weekend, Idaho moved a bill out of committee that would create a human trafficking law for those who drive a minor to get an abortion across state lines without parental consent. It's absolutely inhumane, it's absolutely cruel, and it's really exciting to see Washington be proactive and pass these laws that protect patients. House Bill 1155 would protect any data that is not HIPAA related. I don't think anything's more sensitive than health privacy data. So. House Bill 1155 moves on to the Senate next. Currently, the Democratic Party holds the majority, so the likelihood that it will pass is high, but it's not guaranteed. In studio tonight, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now. Emily, thank you.